Hey everyone, don't forget to like and comment on this video, okay? This is very, very important. Oh, and also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's help us, okay? We help in the community, we help your jiu-jitsu, and hope you enjoy it. Us. We're gonna be working on this very simple sweep. I'll control his collar, okay? I'll grab his pants, all right? So I gotta push his leg, okay? Push the inner side of his leg, right here to force my opponent to uh, open his legs like this wide, okay? So at the same time I'll, I'll do that, I'll sit up facing outside, like this, really quick. And I'll keep this leg here, okay? Close to his uh, ankle, all right? So now I'll pose the leg that I push the leg, which is my right foot, on the floor, okay? And as I do that, I need to bring his leg under my, my leg. So I don't push with my hips, but I'll bring his leg with my, my left leg here, like this, okay? And then I'll come on top in this position, okay? So ready to pass as a knee cut, okay? So we're gonna do back and forth, again. So I'll be here, playing guard, I'll push, sit, and then sweep, okay, just like that. So now as he starts turn, so he's gonna push my leg, sit up, take me down. Notice that I'm not, I'm not doing like this, here. It's not a hip uh, thrust like that, okay? It's like bringing your leg under, like I stand up in base, okay? Like this, very simple, okay? You can use this technique, holding here, the, this collar, cross collar, sleeve, sleeve, belt, it doesn't matter, as long as you keep your legs apart. Sometimes I can do here as well. Okay, I don't need to grab the collar, okay? So I just need to open his legs and sweep. So the first time, the first uh, two minutes, we're gonna go back and forth just like that. And he started push me, push me down, push him. And now I just keep going over and over, okay? The second two minutes, we will push, stand up, and then long step pass, okay? When I got the side control, this side will recover the guard. Okay, so he push, skip the hips, I will stand up, and then he goes for the position. Step one, step two, and then long step pass. As he pass, okay, elbow in, recover the guard, he stand up. See how I underhook his leg when I long step, okay? I like this and I control him, okay? So after that, we go for any speed pass drills, okay? We go to Riano, side to side. So this is one kind of pass, okay? Step one, step two. Step one, step two. And then we're gonna do the other one, which is like side to side. And then the other one, you gotta pass, he's gonna underhook me, underhook, I go around. Okay, just like that. And then we're done, then we go, we finish the warm up, and then we go for the techniques. Sweep for sweep, sweep for sweep with a long step. Basic Torian pass, speed Torian pass. Okay, and then Toriano with overhead step. Okay, make sure when you go to the last one, the person about under hook down. Okay, try to do as fast as you can the speed pass. It's gonna be only 20 seconds each. One, two, three. With over 10,000 hours of training content across nearly 5,000 individual videos. We're here to help you reach your highest level of achievement. It's available online, wherever you are, and made for people just like you. Excuses disappear when you set sight on your best self. With Atros Online Training in the palm of your hand, you're unstoppable. Quit wasting time and start developing your competitive edge with Atros Online. Join today and get started for as little as $25 a month. Your future is worth it.
Train smarter, study more, be legendary. Let's start like with all the grips, just like uh, getting your grips to pull guard. Okay? You can be sitting like this, control the collar. You can control any collar, same side or cross side. I like to grab the collar. Because sometimes if I try to grab the hand, like he's gonna move his hand a lot, but the collar doesn't move much. So you, so you grab and then you go for the pull, okay? So I bring both knees to my chest, okay, here. And I like to place this foot right here, either like close to his uh, hips or on his shoulder, okay? So you don't wanna pull like this and have your opponent have one leg between his legs so he can go with like side smash or a knee cut. So this leg must be here. Even if you try to step up over my leg, it's harder, okay? If I pull like pulsing on his hips like this, he can easily step over my leg, okay? Or he can go for a Toriano pass, like really easy, okay? So remember that you're doing this, you're controlling the collar first to break his posture, but also you need to control his legs as fast as you can. So you use the delahiva hook to control the legs. So you're here, control the legs, and with this hand, I'll grab his leg here. Okay, grab his ankle, okay? Or control the pants. Notice that my foot is here, okay? Again. So I'm here, I go, okay? I can lay down and pull him towards me, or I can do that at the same time I would slide underneath of him, like, like a jump, okay? Bring my opponent really close to me because if you try to go for Toyano right now, it's a little bit harder for him. So I have time to set up my grips. Blocking this arm here also will prevent my opponent to break my grip too fast. Okay? So if I put my foot here, it's easier for him to break this grip. Okay? So that's why I keep this foot here. Okay, on the biceps or on the shoulder. Now once I get this, turn on so I face this way. Yeah, I will underhook his leg. If I don't have this space, I escape my hips and I underhook his leg here. So you see that I'm doing like, it's like a trapping with my knee, okay, the back of my knee on his leg and this part of my arm on his leg as well. So it's both sides. So I'm trapping the outside of his leg and the inside of his leg, okay? So then I'll grab my own shin right here, okay? I can get the little hip hook, yes I can which is great, but if the start start opening the leg, don't worry about the De La Riva hook too much. Once you get this grip, you make sure you're not like grabbing with your forearm like this, okay? So you gotta go with this part of your elbow, your biceps like all the way through, okay? So this is a very strong grip turn on. So I can grab my own pants like this for figures inside if I want, but I believe like this grip here is super strong and super easy for me to control, okay? I'm squeezing my leg, bringing my heel towards my butt, okay? So I'm controlling my opponent. This grip here will give me a lot of time, okay? Especially uh, for you that you don't know how to rest while you're playing guard, it's a great position to rest, okay? Because your back is on the floor, all right? In order to sweep with my back on the floor, I gotta go underneath of my opponent, okay? I can't sweep in this side with my back on the floor. Okay, if he's away, go away from me, sir. Like this, it's hard for me. Because his hips, you see, is, is not like uh, over my hips. So I gotta bring him in, I, I gotta bring the start like over and close. Once he's close, like stay close, like I can already like grab his leg here and start sweeping back, but I can start going under, okay? But sometimes we step out. Most of the time he's gonna step out like this. I have this grip. So if you break my grip, because eventually this can happen, like your opponent will break your grip. So immediately you're gonna push his leg, sit up and grab his, his belt, underhooking the leg. If I push him and he start putting his posture down, I, can break, uh, I cannot grab his belt. So I'll grab his collar, okay? But if the start stand up like this, usually they stand up because they know you can grab their collar, then you're gonna grab here, the belt, okay? So now I'm gonna underhook his leg, okay? So I'm not gonna underhook his butt. It's the same position we did the last week. I underhook his knee, right behind his knee. And what I wanna do right now, I want to split his legs. This, and then turn to him. Okay, so I push his leg. So at the same time I push his leg, I face that way, and I take this foot off the mat. 
okay? Just turning my body this way. You see that I'm facing this way right now, okay? And even if the side try to go for a knee cut right here, right, it's really hard. If you try to go a side smash, it's really hard for you to go as well because I'm trapping this leg. If I let go of this leg, yes, he can start side smashing, okay? So keep holding here really good, okay? So if you start closing his legs like this, and he doesn't close, uh, he doesn't break my grip, I can go through here. Yeah, so I like open his legs, and then push him this way, okay? Once I get here, like last, uh, the last class, we control the sleeve, right? We palm the, the, the foot inside here, and then I will kick my leg to break his grip. Okay, and then I start putting on the X guard, okay? But on this time, let's say I don't have much time. Yeah, I push him right here. I don't have much time to pommel my legs. So I'll frame with my shin here, and I'll underhook his leg, and I'll go for like a waitress, a waiter sweep, okay? Or waitress sweep for the girls, okay? <laughs> so when I got here, look, I'm looking for grabbing his collar here, okay? If his collar is too close, too tight, I can grab his belt. Because if the collar is tight, that means it, he has a belt. If it doesn't have the belt, the collar will be right here for you. Yeah, sometimes it'll be like this. So you're gonna grab here. I like to grab like this, okay, here. And notice that I'm grabbing here still, okay? Because I'm defending here in case Nisar tried to go for an ankle lock. If I put my foot here, he can ankle lock me. But even though, trying to go for an ankle lock there, because I have this frame here, it's really hard for you to go for ankle lock. If I take this frame out, then the ankle lock could be really powerful, okay? So make sure you have this frame here the whole time, okay? And remember, when you were here, turn on, sir. That's right. Yeah, like in the beginning, we were here. And he's grabbing my pants. If I can grab here, the sleeve will be great, okay? Because I can go around and kick, or let's say he start closing his elbow, and I, I can't put my leg inside. That's when I go for the waiter, uh, waiter sweep. I hook his top leg as well with my with my my leg that's close to that's under his leg between his legs. I go one under hook and then I'll turn to the other side. Now I grab here, grab his collar. Okay, in this side, in this case, he's uh, he's with the knee on the floor. Okay, but he can also try to stand up like, stand up, like this, and the position works the same. I will start like pushing that way here, this way here. Go back. But well, usually your opponent, he feels like if you stand up, he's gonna give too much space to you. You gotta keep the weight, the knee on the floor, try to take this leg out. So look how I frame here. Like I got a really nice hook controlling him. So now what I'm gonna do, I'll use the momentum. I'll bridge, like I need to take my thigh away from my belly, like this. So I'm pushing him towards the wall, like this, okay, here. Once he starts falls right here, that's the momentum for me to come up, okay? Go back. If I, if I don't grab the sleeve here, if I just go without grabbing the sleeve, like this, when I try to sweep, he's gonna pose his hand on the floor. Like this, okay? So that's why when I get here, I grab here. Okay, so and then I go here, control. Now I'll try to pose your hand. He can't, okay? Don't sweep in this way here. Like this side here is gonna be hard for you to sweep, okay? Sweeping towards this direction here. The side of the leg that you're framing and you're controlling here at first, okay? So when I come up, I try to use the momentum because look, this foot is here and this foot is not here, okay? If my foot was under his leg, it would be easy for me to just come up here, okay? But because my foot is over his leg, I use the momentum. I use my grips to pull myself towards it. So I gotta uh, bridge that way, force him to go down, and I use the moment to come up. See? I use the moment to come up. I don't, get, I don't keep my back on the floor, okay? Now when I'm here, I'm in a very good position. I just need to let go the sleeve and step over my arm, okay? And I'll hug his head. And then I have the knee cut already. That's his guard, and what I gotta do, stay there. Don't square it up like this, otherwise you're gonna recover the guard. Use your hamstring, as soon as you pass, use your hamstring, 
against his leg and then get the leg drag so there is no space for him to recover the guard. Because I have one arm inside, my head needs to be low. If I keep my head like this, you can reverse the angle over here. Okay? Let's keep here. Once you start moving, then you underhook and pass his guard. Okay, you actually already passed, but don't try to take the, the, the hand out right away because then he's gonna move too fast, okay? Keep your grips the whole time. Again, very simple sweep, okay? So I'm controlling him. Oh, actually, I start from here. Step one, step two, and step three, okay? Now I underhook his leg, control my shin, if he doesn't break my grip, great. I put my hook inside, open, and turn this way. Okay. Now when I'm here, I'm looking forward to grab under his leg, but I need to frame here. Okay? And now I turn to the other side while I'm under hooking here. Okay? And I bring him over my shoulders. Don't keep your opponent like down here. So make sure you point your, your hands like this way. Keep him over your shoulders here, like the line of his foot and knee is in the same line of your shoulders. So I'm controlling this lead. When I sweep, I'll sweep more towards the leg that, that's standing, and I use the momentum to come up, okay? Once I'm here, I step over, get the knee cut, and now that's it, okay? One, two, three. Four, underhook. Bring over your shoulder. Control the collar. You can control the sleeve here too if you want. Yeah, I like the collar because I break his posture. And I grab here. You see the frame? I don't do this. Here, okay? Keep the frame because I have way more leverage. Plus, with the frame, let's say I'm trying to sweep the star. He's moving forward like this. I can't sweep him back. I can scramble under his leg, look. Here. And then I start attacking his back. All right? You can do that too if you want. Again. One, step two, step three, underhook. Turn him, underhook here. Grab, control, both sides. First one, I just use the momentum to come up. Step over his arm with my arm, over his leg with my arm, hug his head, kneecap on the floor, and try to split his legs. Your shoulder here needs to be in the line of his knee. Don't be like this, otherwise he's gonna, he's gonna pass the leg like this, or he's gonna frame the leg like this, <laughs> exactly. So keep low, okay? Pass, pass the guard. If I try to sweep in the star back and he's resisting back, like move forward, this side, move forward. If he's too heavy, I go under his leg, look, here. And once I go here, my hand that was on this side, go to the other leg and I get the crab right here. I keep the collar because it's harder for him to move, so I kick it and then I start getting the seat belt. Now I get his back. Because that can happen, like sometimes you try to sweep, he's gonna move, and then you go underneath of him. And notice that when I go underneath of him, here, I turn towards the side of the leg that's on the floor, on this case. But also, I can turn to the other side too. Look, and then I'll go to the position we learned last week. If I go to the other side, at the XR, there's so many variations there, okay? I just want you to play around with that, that's the only technique you're gonna work, okay? You guys have any question? No? Too much, huh? <laughs> All right, let's work. One, two, three. We're gonna do a group of uh, four people, okay? You got like four people, like your size, okay? Four to five people, okay? Let's do four, and then if I feel like that's uh, some guys that didn't get a group of four, and then I'll put like in other groups. Two guys will be in the middle, two guys outside, and you're gonna do a rotation out there, okay, for the next 15 minutes. But we're gonna start 
We're gonna start the position here. Like under hooking, grabbing here, Oof. and then here. Okay. So now you have the option to sweep your opponent that way. You have the option to bring your opponent this way and then go under, under his leg like I showed before. Okay? If your opponent stand up, stand up, let's start. Right here, it's so easy for me to go under, or simply like just push his leg and then come up in the X guard sweep. Okay, you can do that. Right here, okay. So you start with the sleeve grip, okay? Start with the sleeve and collar grip and make sure the legs are over your shoulder. And then we start from here. The goal of the person on top is to score points on me or get out from the situation. If they start like undo the grips and get away from me like this, like reset, okay? So we start here, like this, okay? So once I'm here, uh, it's not gonna be that bad for me or that hard for me to sweep. What is happening sometimes when I sweep him, face this way, and here, I sweep, and then I got like, ah, I don't have the momentum to come up, my butt is on the floor. The side of you grabbing the sleeve, you're gonna underhook the leg that's you controlling the collar. So I gotta do this. And then hide this foot here. Then I'll come up as a leg grip. Okay? So if you guys stuck here during the training, like this, okay, you can't come up. You just like lay to the side, like lay down to the side, underhook this leg, and underhook your leg here. Because if you keep here, it's gonna put on 50-50. It's hard for me to put up 50-50 if I have this shin here. If I go like this, then you're gonna put 50-50. So keep your shin here, try to put up 50-50. You can't. Okay, and then this hand right here, we'll control the near side or the far side collar, and at the same time, under hook. Now, use the bottom leg to help you to come up, and then you start passing your okay, Just in case. But you're gonna do a, the training starting from the situation. Get a group of four, let's go. One, two, three.